hey guys welcome back to record now and uh, here in this video I will show you how to uh, create a Google assistant uh, application and for this you have to search in your Google with uh, actions on Google and uh, in the organic search the first link uh, will be your link and uh, this is the window you will get once you get the window click on the uh, go to actions console on the top right corner and this will be your Google Actions console where you develop the application. So if you already a developer, then you can see the already existing application which you developed. In order to want, in order to create a new application, click on Add or Import Project. Make sure you give the proper uh, project name. Uh, so there should not be any kind of additional uh, extra words or something like that. It should be a proper human readable format. Uh, so I'm going to create a CEO game. So this will be a basic uh, template uh, using using the template and here you can see a lot of things uh, uh, this is a predefined template uh, we are not going to use that so click on skip button okay here you go so here the screen will be like uh, uh, adding invocations intent everything like that so for here you have to go to build and click on actions and click on add a new indent action and go scroll down you can go to templates and uh, go click on trivia app and uh, click on the robot over there and uh, click on the spreadsheet icon and uh, click on the link over there and you have to make a copy of the document so I know I'm going a little bit fast uh, if you have any doubts or then you can stop the video and you can replay it now this will be your spreadsheet and uh, you have to edit this spreadsheet so just delete or drag over from cell number 22 to cell number 8 and delete all the cells and move the columns to up now you're going to create something from scratch so i'm going to make a trivia app showing the you know how many ceos or uh, to you know kind of a cues uh, asking about the CEO of different multinational companies. So my first question goes like uh, who is the CEO of Apple? So I gave the correct answer and uh, two incorrect answer and a follow-up action So follow-up actions is something like uh, if a user uh, Couldn't make the answer or if he says the incorrect answer then you should give something as a follow-up uh, as an additional information uh, for example if it is a CEO of Apple then you should mention like uh, when he became the CEO or uh, uh, do you have any kind of uh, whether he is any kind of speciality like uh, he's a uh, uh, biggest richest man in the world or something like that uh, so here goes my second uh, question like uh, who is the CEO of Google so the correct answer goes to Sundar Pichai and uh, I, I already gave two incorrect answers and a follow up question. So like that you have to go and create the third question also. So I am going to limit my question to three. So um, you can add up to 50 uh, questions or more than 50 plus questions uh, according to your wish. So this is a predefined template so we are not going to use any code here. We just uh, give the uh, data in the spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet will save to your Google Drive. So make sure uh, you have signed in into your Google account. Um, yeah. Okay. Now I created the three questions, and on the bottom you can see something called configuration. Okay, I will show you. So at the bottom you can see something called configuration. Click on the configuration over there, and uh, you can see something like uh, how many questions per game so I have on only three questions so I can have three questions and uh, as a title you have to give your uh, title of the game so the title of the uh, yeah app so that is see your game and you need to change the permission um, like uh, it was too fast I know so you guys can go back and see so copy paste the link on this screen go back to the uh, Google actions console screen copy paste and upload the upload it if it is successfully upload uh, it will show the upload has been successful then here goes creating your app so I was a bit faster uh, during the privacy setting so on the top right corner of the last uh, spreadsheet window you can see some uh, lock button over there click on that go to advanced section then you can change to uh, everyone can see so now every can when everyone can see your spreadsheet so there is no privacy issue over there 
uh, make sure you done that copy paste the link and paste it over here and create click on uh, upload and once it are successful then create click on create the app so so easy like that so as of now we have completed 60 percentage of uh, uh, google assistant app uh, only the few things pending like uh, we need to add some uh, invocations etc so the next procedure is that we need to test the app whether it's really working or not so here we go the simulator so press enter over the talk to my test app okay now here you go so here are the questions which you have already given in the spreadsheet so that data is retrieving to the simulator as of right now and uh, there will be a suggest suggested input like uh, along with the wrong and correct answer if a uh, user have the option to click the correct as well as the wrong answer if it is a wrong answer it will uh, go with the follow up indent so this is how it works um, i hope you have followed all this, uh, all the steps till now so we have completed almost 80 percentage of the application and uh, yeah then go back to invocation on the left side which we can see under setup then you have to give the display name make sure that display name uh, is uh, a unique one uh, there are reserved keyword for uh, google assistant such as game or uh, trivia or kind of uh, talk to these are the reserved keywords so you are not supposed to use the reserved keywords over there uh, so you can uh, give something uh, unique one uh, which is uh, really unique like a uh, find ceo so let that be your uh, display name in the google assistant directory so once you've done that you, are, you have to go to overview and check whether everything you have completed if you completed everything you can see a blue tick over the left side then uh, go to the directory information over there there you need to enter the description short description as well as the long description short description is for uh, telling the user uh, what your app will do and the full description goes like uh, what all the functions your app has or uh, what all uh, what it is built for that kind of things so i'm uh, giving like uh, this is a simple game which uh, help uh, you to you know spend uh, you know time with your friends or techy friends uh, to you know ask trivia questions or something like that so it will be fun if you do like that okay so i am almost done with that and uh, here you go with the sample invocation so there will be a sa already a sample invocation if you want to create an additional sample invocation then you are good to go uh, that's your wish and you, here you need to upload a large banner uh, banner log uh, banner wallpaper as well as the logo for your app uh, for this uh, i would recommend uh, there is a one trick so i would recommend you to go to google and uh, select a non copyrighted uh, image because google doesn't support any kind of copyrighted materials in your google assistant app so make sure uh, this thing so always when you are downloading or copying some something from the internet make sure that is not copyrighted so i'm going to uh, google search again so i'm searching for something related to ceo wallpaper or something So I was searching MNC wallpaper so there is nothing uh, related to MNC so I changed to see your wallpaper and here you go the second one. So the dimension of the picture will be like uh, 1920 cross 1920 pixel for the large banner and 192 cross 192 for the small banner, small icon. So one, uh, right click on the image and click on save button. So the, this image will be now saved to your desktop. Now. Uh, click, open a new tab type pickresize.com you can find this link on your on the description box no, so no need to worry about it and select the photo which you downloaded from uh, in from the internet uh, right now to your desktop and select browse the folder from the desktop okay and click on continue so what we are doing right now here is like resizing the picture size uh, to the default size or the preferred size okay 
so now you can see something called uh, resize your picture and you can select a custom size and uh, you can specify the width over the 1920 and 1080 and uh, once you done uh, click on I'm done resize my picture and uh, you can click on save to disk so the same pattern falls for, for follow for the icon image so you can uh, upload the same image to your screen open and uh, click on continue and here you can create something for your uh, icon so the icon specification which is mentioned by google assistant is 192 cross 192 pixels so again go to uh, custom size and uh, assign the width as well as assign the height over there okay make sure th th this should be in pixels and i am done resize my picture so the next step will follow like uh, you need to upload the photo into your google assistant so i have already downloaded this files over the so click on the file and click on upload option once it's done click on the save button over there and same goes to the icon as well okay now i have done almost 80 90 percentage so give your developer email id so as if you are a new developer then uh, give your developer your name and as an email id then go to the policy statement over there click on and make a copy then uh, go to file make a copy so new privacy policy statement will be there so delete the part which i'm doing right now so this is the part we don't want and uh, select the dollar app name copy that go to edit find and replace click on find and paste the app name over there and replace with your current app name make sure there should not be any kind of spelling mistake like this you have to replace the developer dollar developer replace the app name with the developer and replace with your name or your name or kind of even your organization name anything is fine here so replace all so then change the privacy setting by on the top right corner click on the share button and click on the privacy change and on public to the verb and click on save button scroll down save button now you are done with the policy statement click on the uh, uh, tab over there copy the link paste the link over the policy statement over there then you need to specify the additional information like uh, which category your apps comes to then uh, you need to give some testing instruction to the google testing department like uh, how to test your app so my app will trigger once i say uh, talk to find uh, ceo so uh, just uh, help this will help the google to trigger uh, testing team to trigger your app and uh, simulate your app in their platform once you've done that go back to overview button and check whether everything is in blue, blue right now so yes now go to release over there and uh, click on submit for production check the boxes over there that uh, showing like uh, you have already tested the app and everything is working properly so we have completed 100 percentage of uh, creating a template app this is the basic app which you can uh, any beginner can do without any kind of skill of coding and uh, yes once you successfully submitted the app you will be getting an email from google like your app has been submitted and after two days it will take up to two to three business days to process your app for certification once your app is processed for certification then you will be receiving like uh, you have created your application then you can see your app uh, live in your google actions console so this is uh, all about uh, building a simple or uh, basic assistant app for the community so now officially you are, you guys are a developer and once it's submitted for production you can see the relation re release version as one and it's under review so that's all about uh, google assistant app so stay tuned for uh, you know upcoming uh, upcoming app so i will teach you from basic to the advanced about google session up to the dialog flow 
So stay tuned to my channel, subscribe and click on the bell icon. Thank you.